Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Wrinkles, bringing you the how-to for English Bulldogs and other canine tips and tricks. Today we're going to give you a remedy for your dog licking their paws that your vet probably won't tell you about, so stay tuned. So a lot of our viewers have reached out with questions about paws. Um, a lot of English Bulldogs get those in digital cysts or however you say it. Not just English Bulldogs, but all dogs across the board have problem with licking their paws. And what we want to tell you today is a secret uh, ingredient that will help with that, that most vets don't even tell you about. Um, so dogs, the only place they sweat from is their nose and their paws. So when they go outside, their paws are like wet, sticky pads that are picking up everything in your yard, in your neighbor's yard if they're walking over there. Um, so like dust, pollen, dirt, mud, pesticides, whatever is out there, they're soaking that up into their paws. They come in, they're licking like crazy and driving you crazy at the same time. Um, we've had a lot of people reach out with questions about this, and so we wanna give you a tip that will cut down on the licking and the infection that goes into uh, your dog's paws. So Tu and I wanna share a little tip with you. Um, this is Betadine. This is an eight ounce bottle of Betadine. Um, also, you can get Probidine, Iodine, which is a uh, basically the same thing. We'll put a link in the description below um, so that you can order some of this. Um, Tu and I are gonna demonstrate this for you so that you can see exactly what we do and, and how to do it. Okay, so what Tu and I want you to know, first of all, is that washcloths do not, they're not as successful at all as actual foot soaks. So um, what you wanna do, you really wanna do this on a daily basis because your dog goes out in the yard and picks up stuff every day. Um, that would tremendously help, but we know obviously, you know, doing it every day, you might not get a chance to do it every day, but you wanna do it as often as you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got this, this little tub here. Um, you can get these off of Amazon also. They're fairly cheap. Um, so I'm gonna just, you want to put enough water in the bottom to fill, to cover your dog's paw completely. If your dog is small, obviously you can put, you know, just set the dog in here and have all four paws in here. If your dog's a little bit larger, you can do one at a time. Um, if you have a really big dog, you can just do it in a bathtub. Um, just whatever works for you, but you want to be able to soak your dog's feet. We'll probably do just one paw at a time with two of so we'll show you. Now, this is the Betadine here, and you wanna mix it um, where it kinda looks like tea, because uh, this stuff is very dark, and um, so you kinda just gauge it the best you can here. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm gonna just do it like this right here. You wanna get it the color about kinda of like tea. You don't wanna have it too light or too dark. Now, one thing I wanna tell you about this, this stuff is completely safe. It's non-toxic. It's antifungal and antibacterial. So this really cleans all the germs and things that you can't see that are building up on your dog's paw that's causing them to be irritated. Okay, so I got this just about, I think how I'm gonna use it here.
want to try to soak it at least five minutes per paw. If you've got all four of them in there at one time, of course it uh, is a lot easier and you only have to wait five minutes. But <laughs> anyway, you don't want to rinse it off. You just want to wipe it off with a towel. You want to use an old towel because obviously this stuff can stain. And you want to do it in an area where you can't stain your carpet or whatever because this stuff uh, does definitely stain your clothes and your carpet. So technically it's a lot easier to do it in a bathtub, but if you do it in a bathtub, you can't save the water. And um, with this method, if you're able to do it this way, <laughs> you can actually save this water and use it up to three or four times um, before throwing it out. But once you've used it about four times, you wanna throw it out and start all over. But um, like you can use a funnel and just put it in like a little bottle or, or some kind of container and save it. So real quick, I just want to mention that uh, with the indigital cyst, um, there are a few other causes for those. Um, we've had a vet tell us that it's from the weight that bulldogs carry, um, or it could be an ingrown hair. So um, hopefully these foot, so foot soaks will help. Um, please give us a comment. Let us know if you've tried it and how it's working for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button to be notified of our future videos. And thanks everyone again. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. Send us a comment and let us know.